Take three. You'll have to go around. We're rewiring this part of the ship. I won't get in the way. The transformers are shorting out, and I can't shut them down. A lot of charge in there. The overhead walkway is like the plate of a capacitor. Sounds like a job for bots. You said it. They don't pay me enough to go in there myself. I'm waiting on a couple more spiders. The first two have quit responding. I can take a look for you. I wouldn't advise it. You'd have to shut down two power control panels. One of them under the floor. The guys in the operations room of the helicopter bay have been on my case. Their computers are fried, but it's not worth the risk. No way! Hey guys, and welcome back to That Old P Show. The name of the game is Deus Ex for PC. As you probably already figured out, that part can be kind of annoying. Since we have guards coming from both directions, we run the risk of them walking in our conversation with the electri- hey. Whoa, <laughs> with the electrician, we have a, uh, and uh, they, if they run in on us, then uh, they'll just gun us down as soon as the conversation is over. So we need to, uh, we need to find a way for them to not do that. And one of the ways is to jump across uh, to the other side of the wall. You need to figure out which way they're coming from before in be instigating the conversation. Anyway, we need to get into the next room. To uh, blow up the next weld point. However, there is electrical current flipping and flying everywhere because, like the electrician said, uh, the transformers are shorting out. So we need to get in there and disable all of that uh, before getting to the weld point. There is a way to do it without doing that. I'll show off both ways. I'll show where the control panels are, and I'll also show a workaround to where you don't have to do that. But first and foremost, we're going to fly this spy drone over here to take out this little spider bot. Where the hell is he? And there he is. Oh, I'm getting low. There we go. Did I get him? I don't hear him scaring around anymore, so I think we got him. All right, let's run around here and use this repair bot real quick. That's why it's there. All right, and first... Oh. Do not forget about Everett. I have located his mistress, Beth Duclair, but she is dead. Aw. The last living associate of the Illuminati leadership is the daughter. Nicole. Oh. Oh, well, Beth is dead, but she has a younger, possibly hotter daughter. Come on, you go away. Alright, I'm gonna wait for these two guards to clear out. Okay, well, alright, he's walking away. Looks like the coast is clear. Alright, I'm gonna show you how to uh, blow up that weld point without having to disable that electricity. We can just take a TNT box right here, all Minecraft style. We clear? Be here any minute. Okay. Yeah, those bots aren't coming. Okay, we want to do this very carefully. We don't want to walk too far into there or else we'll get electrocuted to death. Alright, make sure you're crouching so when you toss that TNT box it doesn't blow up in your face. Okay, let's get out here, get our crossbow ready with some regular darts. And as long as the coast is clear, we can just shoot it and that's how we disable or that's how we blow up that third weld point. All right, now, just for the sake of completion, I'm going to show you how to complete the secondary objective of disabling the two control panels so you can safely walk around this room and possibly use the catwalk upstairs if you want. The first one is right here, and the second one is down here. Now, as we're coming... Whoever's out there is in serious trouble. No, no, I'm not in trouble because you can't see me. Now, as we're coming down here, there's a beam right there which activates a spider bot that comes out of that panel. However, like the electrician said, the spider bots are not responding for one reason or another, so he's not going to pursue us, so that's one less thing we have to worry about. And with that disabled, that completes the secondary objective. If you go outside now, you'll notice that there's no electricity flipping and flying everywhere. In fact, you probably already heard it kind of quiet down out there. Okay, we'll actually be coming back into this room a little later since the final weld point that we'll be blowing up is uh, pretty close to here. However, there's still the matter of reversing the bilge pumps, and in order to do that, we're going to have to go a little deeper into the ship. Okay, that guard is far enough away. Is the coast clear? Top up on our bioelectric energy. And run in here. Okay, let's get our Dragon's Tooth Sword ready and disable this camera. There we go. I hear more footsteps. Is there someone close by? Peekaboo. Nope. Okay, we're all right. Okay, we want to climb up into this ladder right here. And this part right here can be a little annoying. We have this current, which is uh, 
pushing us upward. And, uh, well, it's a little hard to control. I certainly haven't mastered it. Okay, there we go. A few items that we can pick up. Just go ahead and use the sword as a light. And there's nothing to the north. We want to head south. So let's uh, try to do this in one go. No, that's not going to work. Ah, come on. Nope. All right, slowly now. Come on. Maybe if I look up. Ah, come on. Up, 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 and go. All right. Thank God. All right. We have these little ledges as we're climbing down here. We want to try to land on them so we don't have a straight fall all the way to the bottom hurting ourselves. Also, I'm pretty sure some guards might be able to hear us here. So let's just go ahead and activate Run Silent just in case. All right. The fourth weld point is through here. So let's just open up this grate and get our get gun ready to go. We're going to be attacking this thing from a distance. And there are some guards patrolling near the weld point, and we don't want them to be caught in the blast, so we need to wait for them to walk away from it. This might take a while. Okay, and looks like he's walking away. Where's the other guy? Where? There he is. All right. Wait, and there we go. It's important not to poke your head too far out that way, because they will be able to see you. So let's, uh run away and now we need to actually get back into that room that that weld point was in because i believe that's also where we're going to be able to uh reverse the bilge pumps which is uh one of the requirements for scuttling this ship anyway we want to use silent run as we're uh dropping down through here because there is a guard nearby in fact i think he's right on the other side of these crates and he's walking away okay this panel up here this keypad takes uh, three multi-tools, but we now have the points to take our electronic skill up to advanced, so now it only takes two. Okay, and with that disabled, we now have access to that room, but as long as that guard is walking away, he might be far enough away from us to where we can break these crates without alerting him or not. Okay, quickly crawl away. Ah, oh, crap. I thought he was far enough away. Well, whatever. He's going to be spazzing out here for a while now. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. Anyway, in here, we have an augmentation canister. We're just going to go ahead and uh, put that away for later. And I believe it contains a uh, cloak, which we already have, and radar transparency, which is pretty much the only augmentation that we can uh, get at this point. After that... All of our slots will be full, and we won't be able to get any more augmentations. We'll be fully powered, uh, save for upgrading the existing augmentations that we have. Anyway, he's going to be patrolling back and forth here, so we might want to activate Cloak as we round this corner. There we go. And behind these cans right here, if you want them, there are some darts. And for this next part, I'm going to want to have some energy because I'm going to be using a lot of it. Okay, and there's a crate over here. Hopefully they don't see me. All right, run silent so we can land softly. Oh, God, oh, God, cloak, 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 and run. Come on, there's the switch for the bilge pump. Okay, what he said. Let's recharge that. I only want to uh, run silent for right now and to make ourselves invisible. This is where we want to use that cloak. Or that thermoptic camo, I mean. All right, run, run. And, oh, I forgot that crate. Screw it. The bilge valves are open. Now just breach the last of the weld points. Got it. Cloak now. Because we ran out of thermoptic camo energy and we're heading back to that room where we disabled those control panels and quiet because there might be a guard around the corner all right we're good okay recharge and it looks like the coast is clear all right i just wanted to check that because they can still hear us running around in here because of the metal floor and we just need to open this grate. It's kind of dark in here, so if you uh, need to, just go ahead and turn on your light. And as soon as we get through here, uh, we'll reach our fifth and final weld point. We want to be careful because, as you can see, uh, you, if you can see through the grates here, that means guards can see through it and they can see you. I think there's one right there, but he's far away, so he shouldn't bother us. 
Okay, and as soon as we round this corner, we need to open up this grate. And we want to pop our head out. There we go. Get our lambs ready. There we go. And let's go ahead and make sure that there's nobody near this weld point. Looks like everything is clear. Good to go. Pop up. Chuck the grenade. And then run. Boom! That's the fifth and final weld point. And when he says 30 minutes, he means a real-life half hour, which is more than enough time to get out of here if you know the way out and you keep on moving, which can be difficult considering that the way the ship is shaking around right now, it does make JC lose his footing. So it can be kind of hard to move around and climb ladders and such. On top of that, we still have to sneak past the stupid guards who want to prioritize killing us over escaping from a sinking ship. I guess they're just that dedicated. Like this guy around the corner. Seriously, dude, am I really that important? Why are you just walking all lackadaisically? You are on a sinking ship. Run for your life. Oh, we're going to be using so much bioelectric energy right here. Make sure you're stocked up on cells, especially up here. Because apparently, these sailors up here have super senses. I show alarms active everywhere, and bulkheads closing. Get out of there now. At the west end of the dock is a maintenance store to the air conditioning system. A ladder will take you to the ventilation channels. Jock is waiting on the roof. Okay, so pretty much just go out the way we came in. Stock up on energy, get ready for some major bullshit. I hate these sailors. Okay. Cloak, Silent Run, and Synthetic Heart. Ah, crap. Did you see that? Did you see that shit? I hate these sailors for God's sake. I, I They have super senses. I was cloaked. I had Silent Running on. And I added Synthetic Heart just to push them up an extra level just to, you know, just to make sure that they would work. But nope, nope, nope. Look at that. I took damage to my arm. That sailor shot directly at me as if I wasn't even using Cloak or Silent Running at all. That's bullshit. That's friggin' bullshit. Anyway. Alright, we're refilled on our energy. Let's go ahead and uh, heal. Whatever. Okay. Cloak. And Silent Running. And Synthetic Heart. And let's just get the hell out of here. Yeah, they don't notice me now. As soon as we get out of here, let's just disable all of those. God, finally. I, I'm sorry. I really, uh, as far as doing a non-lethal run, this is probably the most frustrating part of the game. Anyway, well, this the next part can actually be kind of annoying. I've had times where climbing this ladder was just friggin' impossible because of how much everything was shaking around. It would just knock me off. Sometimes it would just fling me right alongside the length of the pier and back into the water. It just... Ugh, the physics. Okay, we're out of here. Go ahead and uh, go out pretty much just the way we came. We're going through that part where we blew up the... Oh, there's another spider bot in here. I can hear him. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Let's get the hell up here. All right. I think there's a few items that I can pick up around here. And uh, I think there's a multi-tool over here. Uh, but I already have enough. Okay, whatever. All we have to do is make it right out of this ventilation shaft, and we'll meet Jock right at the helicopter. That does it. The ship is sinking. Jock is touching down on the roof, and we'll take you to Stanton Down. Dowd has determined to engineer the virus. All right, let's ditch this hellhole and never look back. Jump on the chopper, and Jock will take us to Dowd. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show, and have a one that is good.